Hi, so we've added population growth rate n to our solo growth model, but now we're going to look at what happens if that population growth rate changes. So, for example, we're going to start with the normal solo growth model as drawn here, and we draw our investment SFK, and we also have this break even investment term. So no longer just depreciation, it also depends on the growth rate of the population or the labor force. Uh, so this obviously changes our model slightly. And so on the y-axis we say investment and break even investment. So what happens if we change this exogenous uh, population growth rate? If we start at N1, if we increase N to N2, which is greater than N1, so we're increasing the population growth rate to N2, uh, then this changes the slope of our break-even investment curve. And it so it increases the slope because we're increasing N, and because the slope of this curve is given by our depreciation plus population term. So we shift or we pivot our curve. Sorry, that's not a straight line, it's meant to be. We pivot our break-even investment curve here to this new curve, which is given by the same depreciation as before, but with N2, our new population parameter. So increasing N, we get a steeper curve. Uh, so as you can see, this intersects our investment line at a new point here. We'll call that K star 2. And this is obviously lower than the initial level of steady state capital. So we increase N, we get a steeper break-even investment curve, and this reduces the steady state. Whoops, steady state K star capital per capita. And this will also reduce the steady state output per capita Y star, since we have Y star equals a function of capital per capita in the steady state. So Solo thus predicts that higher population growth implies that we have lower capital and income per worker in the long run. So just having a quick look at their dynamics, if we're originally at K1 star and we had a steady state here, we now pivot the break-even investment line to here. So now at our K1 star, we have depreciation and uh, investment all the way up here, such that our break-even investment is up here, but our actual investment is only given by the SFK curve. So to break even, we'd need this much investment, but we have a lower amount of investment. But that means that our capital stock declines, so we have a change in K less than zero, and we move this way. We keep moving this way until we get to the new steady state of K2 star. So we have those dynamics. Uh, obviously, if we reduce the population growth, the opposite is true. So if we move from N2 to N1, we increase the steady state. So what does this mean for our aggregate economic growth? So we can use our growth rate rules uh, that we've used in the past, and I'll create a video on just to describe what these growth rate rules are at a different time. But we know that aggregate output, we can define this as it is per capita output multiplied by our labor force. That's just a definition. Uh, so this implies that the growth rate of Y star is equal to the growth rate of Y star in per capita terms plus the growth rate of labor. And this is just our growth rate rules. We know that in steady state, this is growing at a zero rate. And in steady state, we have... Uh, labor rate, our labor growth rate n, uh, not, not just in steady state, that's always growing at n at a constant rate, but also true at steady state. So now our output aggregate measure 
uh, is growing at rate n. Uh, whereas before, without population growth, it was growing at zero. Uh, this, of course, assumes that we have no productivity growth in the economy. But population growth in the solo model allows aggregate economic growth. And the aggregate economic growth is at the population growth rate n. Uh, however, output per worker still reaches a steady state. So that still grows at zero. But we now have in this model that output, just the aggregate version of output, grows at uh, the same rate as population grows. So that just about does it for this video. In the next video, we'll be looking at consumption and the golden rule steady state output. So check out the playlist for that next video. Make sure to subscribe so that you get future videos and drop a like on the video because that would be very nice if this was at all helpful. So see you in the next video.